But anyway, um, still five gateways in the main. Um, should be adding a couple more here now that his third base is up. And it looks like Michael is going to see this. Now, Schnitzel's going to have to get some nice storms off. And no, it looks like Michael will just back up. Look, oh, interesting, keeping the second Templar a little bit back. Might, might be to just tempt Michael to try and break it. Uh, and then he runs in too far and gets the second storm hit. Anyway, Michael has gotten his fourth base up at the top right. Uh, a hive has just started, looks like. He is getting the uh, range attack though. Now, this seems to be a little bit of a conflicting tech choice. Um, you know, usually when, when Zergs go for uh, uh, the, you know, a hive tech or a relatively quick hive tech, although I think this is a fairly normal hive timing, but usually you see carapace and, and followed by melee attack. Um, range attack usually means, you know, they're going for a bigger lair tech, Hydro Lurk play. However, um, I, b I believe the trend nowadays is for Zergs to go for, uh, you know, fast hive with defilers, but then get a lot of tier 1 units, uh, Zerglings and Hydras, um, rather than going for the high, uh, higher tech Ultras. So, you know, in that case, uh, the range attack is going to be very useful still. And obviously these Lurker fields <laughs> with plus 1 range attack are going to be extremely difficult for the Protoss to break. Very nice defenses down for Michael, but that does mean that his mobile army is uh, extremely small. He's actually just running around the map with a control group of Hydras and an Overlord. I guess he's going to try and pick off High Templar and other crucial units. Uh, which I think is a very nice move, actually. Very, very nice move. Anyway, so, I mean, we're basically on three base against four. Uh, pretty even, pretty even situation here. And... Do, do, do. Double Evo down. No upgrade yet from that one. Um, both armies just kind of jockeying for position. 145 supply for Schnitzel, getting a bit supply cap. Nope! Now he has some pylons finishing. Uh, against 113 for Michael. And we do have a lot of gateways. The second forge has gone down. 1, 2, 3, uh, 8, 9 gates in total, adding a couple more cannons here at the natural. And looks like we do have a big engagement here. Uh, Dragoons leading in against the Lurker field. I don't know if this is a good idea to try and break these Lurker fields. Hydra's coming in from the back. But that is a very scary Protoss force, and Nice Storm's going down on the Hydras and on the Lings. Schnitzel, 150 supply against 101, a 50 supply lead right now. Is he actually going to commit to this? There's, uh, looks like five Lurkers here. The Nidus Canal does finish. Where is it connected to? Looks like he's actually not connected to anything just yet. More hatches going down in the top right, but it might not be in time. Leading with the Dragoons against the Lurkers, very nice move. It's exactly what you need, and supporting with the Storms, great army control here by Schnitzel. Michael's army, though, going in a little bit piecemeal. Hydra's coming in the back, but they're all all scattered, coming in five at a time. That's not what you need. You need to come in in a huge wave, uh, or at least, you know, run in with five Hydras and snipe Templars or something, but he's just attack moving them. And looks like, oh my god, what the Lurker explosion! He can storm it, though. They're all clumped. Does he have any more storms? He has two more storms. Schnitzel wasn't paying attention, but it looks like it doesn't actually matter. The Lurker explosion, he storms it, but the Lurkers are already dead, and the Nidus Canal goes down. It looks like Michael is actually just going to lose to the bust right here. Down to 69 supply, and that is it. GG's. Uh, we don't see it in the replay, but of course, uh, GG's are sometimes not saved in replays for whatever reason. Uh, Michael, pretty manner player. I would assume he GG'd, and obviously the game does go to Schnitzel, so 1-1 now is the score. I'm very excited. Of course, I'm, I try to be as unbiased as possible in the casts but I will root for my fellow Protoss players. Um, so let us go straight into game number three. <clears throat>